Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to enable the whitelister on your PS TV and play all PS Vita games. So if you guys didn't know, some PS Vita games don't actually work on the PS TV. For example, I've got Ridge Race right here. If I try and load this up, it's just going to throw me an error. It doesn't work at all. Um, but there's actually an application we can get which makes all PS Vita games actually run on the PS TV. So I will be showing you guys a list of all of the games which have issues or just don't work at all as well well um, but if you guys want to get a game working and um, that you've got installed so I've got the VPK of Ridge Racer installed and um, what you guys want to do first is actually go ahead and open up Vid Shell we need to go onto our PC so just open this up go ahead and press select for the FTP server go and connect this to your PC and then I'll show you guys what application we need to get Okay, so there will be two links in the description of this video. The first link will be the program itself, Whitelister version 1.1. All we have to do on this part is just click on download VPK and that's literally it. We can copy it across to our PSTV using some FTP software in a minute. But first of all, I just want to show you guys this website. Now this website actually lists all of the incompatible games that work on the PS Vita but do not work on the Vita TV. So as you can see there's quite a lot of games in here and um, you can scroll through the list and find some and um, here is mine at Ridge Racer. So these games that have like touchscreen kind of errors or like obviously you can't use a touchscreen on the PS TV so they have touchscreen stuff, they've got um, just errors when you try and launch them, all of that kind of stuff. Basically none of these games work. So once you guys have got it and you're on your FTP server what we actually want to do is just put in the host and then just put in the port and then we can just connect to it. Okay, so let's just connect to this one. And now what we can do is find our whitelister.vpk in our downloads folder. And we just need to drag and drop this in the UXO. So I'm just going to overwrite that real quick. And then that is literally it for our computer. So let's find it in there. Um, just check. Here it is. Let's go back over to our PSTV. Let's install it. And I will show you guys how to get this application working. Okay, so once we are back, let's go onto our UXO and let's just find the whitelist VPK. So if I scroll down, here it is, whitelister.vpk. Let's just install this. So press X, X again, and X one more time, and it should start installing. It's actually a really small program. Um, it's really simple to use as well. So let's just wait for this to install. And now we can actually just close out of Vita Shell. Now here it is on our home screen. So what we're going to do, it's really simple. All you have to do is press X to open it and then press X to start. What it's actually going to do is start and then close straight away. Now I know you're thinking, you probably think it's crashing. This isn't actually crashing. This is just what the application actually does. So once that is done, we don't have to close it. Just go out of it. And then you want to find your game. So for me, it's Ridge Racer. You can use any VPK, um, which apparently isn't supported. So let's just go ahead and start this up. Now we shouldn't get an error. So if we just go and start it the game should actually load now there might be compatibility issues and um, with this one I realize there's actually a massive one and um, because this is actually a game for the PlayStation Vita as you can see that on the screen um, I can't actually do anything because it actually asks me to tap the screen to get into the game and of course I'm on PS TV so I can't tap it so yeah this is probably a bad example um, if I made this video again I probably would have chosen another game but you guys get the idea you can pretty much load up any game as long as you can you know kind of like use it with the controller and it doesn't need touch screen controls um, then it's pretty much playable so I'll show you what I mean on this screen right here you see where it says play I can't actually do it I can't like tap play and anything I press on the controller doesn't work but as I said you get the idea you can pretty much play any PS Vita game over on your PS TV so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one